Hi everybody. So today we are with uh, medical coding interview questions, uh, which are frequently asked nowadays. Uh, so that today we will be seeing nearly ten questions. Okay. Before entering into this, if you are watching my channel for the first time, please do subscribe. And if you find it useful, please do share it with your friends also. One more thing I have to add: if you are really looking for a job, you can register with us for shop placements. Okay. so here i have added few questions that will be really helpful for you so you can go through it as well as we have added a, a playlist also in that all the interview questions asked in the companies are added for freshers so that go through that questions also so that it will be helpful for you so first question what we are going to see is what is the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes type 1 is otherwise called as insulin dependent or juvenile diabetes here usually it occurs in children's uh, and one more thing here it is defined as the pancreas in patient with type 1 diabetes does not make enough insulin so that here the patient becomes insulin dependent and in type 2 it is called as type 2 diabetes mellitus when the cells are not responding to the insulin this is called as insulin resistance okay so in this the pancreas can't keep up blood sugar level rise so if it is left uncontrolled it will result in other conditions so uh, type uh, in a simple way we can say type 1 diabetes is juvenile which is happening below 14 years and type 2 above 14 years so next question is what are the types of myocardial infraction there are different types of myocardial infraction with several underlying causes the different types of myocardial infractions are type 1 which is otherwise called as spontaneous uh, myocardial infraction related to ischemia type 2 M I secondary to ischemic imbalance type three M I resulting in death due to unavailable biomarker values type four A M I associated with percutaneous coronary interventions type four B M I associated with instant thrombosis type four C M I associated with restenosis of coronary artery after previous percutaneous coronary intervention type five M I associated with coronary artery bypass graft. this is an important question and third question how many systems are there in the human body the human uh, body consists of totally 11 systems they are first one is integumentary second one is skeletal third one is muscular fourth one is nervous fifth is endocrine sixth is cardiovascular seventh is lymphatic eighth respiratory nine digestive ten urinary and 11th one reproductive system which is male as well as female reproductive system so when you are explaining about the system you have to tell it very clearly okay and uh, one more thing whenever you are uh, learning a system you have to uh, see uh, you have to note down at least 60 points 60 points about that system so that you can say it very clearly and fluently at the time of the interview choose very easy points and you can write and keep next question how many bones are there in infant and adult so in uh, infant that is newborn babies have around 300 bones a baby skeleton is mostly made up of cartilages by adulthood the skeleton has just 206 bone okay in while a uh, baby it has uh, 300 bones and in adult it is 206 bone the the in adult the bone includes a bone of the skull spine vertebra ribs arms and legs bones are made up of connective tissue reinforced with calcium and specialized bone cells so this is also an important question which is asked at the time of interview so make a note of the things like whatever i'm saying you can make a note of it and go through it at the time of interview now we will get into the fifth question fifth question is explain any one system in detail when you are explaining about any one system you have to choose a system okay second thing you have to uh, say about the introduction of the system that is overview of the system third you have to say about the anatomy okay anatomy like uh, what are the parts that you have to say then physiology how the system is working next you have to tell about the key components key components means the uh, systems the uh, organs the uh, blood vessels glands which is related to that you can say 
next is um, whenever we are explaining about the system you have to tell about the body mechanism and next is common disorders whenever we are connecting to the system you have to end up with the common disease conditions and procedures done in the body so in a simple way starting with the functions you can uh, start okay next is how many chambers are there in the heart the human heart consists of four chambers that is two arteries and two ventricles the upper chamber are called the left atrium and the right atrium the lower chamber are called left ventricle and right ventricle between the right atrium and right ventricle a valve is present that is tricuspid valve between left atrium and left ventricle mitral valve is found so valves regulate the direction of the flow of the blood uh, then you can say the deoxygenated blood from the right atrium is pumped into the left ventricle from the right ventricle the blood is carried towards the lungs and becomes oxygenated the oxygenated blood is carried by the blood vessel to the left atrium the oxygenated blood from left atrium is pumped into the left ventricle so in this way you can say so next comes describe the uh, circulatory system so the circulatory system is called as a cardiovascular system which pumps the blood from the heart to the lungs to get the oxygen the heart then sends the oxygenated blood through the arteries to the rest of the body the veins carry oxygen poor uh, blood back to the heart to start the recirculation process the main function of the circulatory system is to provide oxygen nutrients hormone to the muscles uh, tissue and organs throughout the body another part of the circulatory system is to remove waste from the cells and organs so your body can dispose it heart pumps blood to the body through a network of arteries and veins your circulatory system can be defined as your uh, cardiovascular class system next you have to tell like what does the circulatory system do the circulatory system function is to move blood throughout the body the blood circulation keeps organs muscles tissues healthy and keep working to be alive the circulatory system also helps to get rid of waste products such as carbon dioxide from respiration other chemical by products from the organ waste from the things you eat and drink okay so the next point uh, which you can add is like when you have to tell about the parts of the circulatory system also when you are explaining about this you can tell about the valves you can tell about the arteries everything you can say and you can uh, finally add up how the heart is uh, working those things can be added so how does circulatory system work circulatory system functions with the help of blood vessels that includes arteries veins and capillaries these blood vessels work with your heart lung to continuous circulation of the blood throughout the body so the heart bottom right pumping chamber right ventricle sends the blood that low in oxygen oxygen poor blood to the lungs so blood travels to the pulmonary trunk um, and then the blood can pick up oxygen in the lungs Bl pulmonary veins carry the oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart that is left atrium and the left atrium sends oxygenated blood into the left ventricle lower chamber and as it moves through the body and organ blood collects and drops the nutrients hormones and waste products the vein carry um, then you have to say what are the circulatory parts okay that is circulatory parts are heart blood vessels and uh, blood and what are the circulatory circulatory system circuits and all you can uh, note down the points which i have added that you can note down and you can uh, say at the time of interview and then we have to say about the types of blood vessels there are three main types of blood vessels that is arteries veins and capillaries arteries are thin muscular tube that carry oxygenated blood away from the heart and to every part of your body veins these veins are the blood vessels return oxygen depleted blood to the heart veins are small venules and get larger as they approach your heart the superior vena cava carry blood from the upper body that is head and the arms to the heart the inferior vena cava brings blood up from 
uh, up from the lower body that is stomach pelvis and legs to the heart veins and the legs have valves to keep blood from flowing backward capillaries are the blood vessels that connect very small arteries and veins capillaries have thin walls that allow oxygen carbon dioxide nutrients and waste products so what is the difference between um, a type of vertebrae okay what are the different types of vertebrae in this the human the vertebral column usually consists of 33 vertebrae placed in the series and is connected by a ligament and intervertebral disc the number of vertebrae can vary between 32 and 35 usually we have seven cervical vertebrae 12 thoracic vertebrae five lumbar vertebrae five sacral vertebrae four caudal vertebrae and coccygeal vertebrae you can see the image for clear understanding The next question is what is the difference between systole and diastole diastole and systole are two phases of cardiac circle they occur uh, as a heart beats pump blood through a system of blood vessels that carry blood to every part of the body systole occurs when the heart contracts to pump the blood out and the diastole occurs when the heart relaxes after contraction so simple question you have to understand that is um systole means it is a contraction and diastole means uh, the relaxation systole means contraction diastole means relaxation next question is how many bones in the skull the bones of the skull can be divided into two main segment cranial bone facial skeleton um and cranial bones we have 8 and facial skeletal bones we have 14 so following are the list of cranial bones ethmoid 1 frontal 1 occipital 1 parietal 2 sphenoid 1 and temporal 2 so totally we have 8 numbers of cranial bones and totally 14 numbers of facial bones this together make up the skull and here i have listed the facial bones also that is inferior nasal conch con lacrimal mandible maxilla nasal palatine vomer zygomatic so additional thing what we have to notice if the auditory ossicles that is bone in the ears are also included then the number of bones in the skull is 28 so list of the ear bones uh, that is auditory ossicles are incus 2 malleus 2 and stapes 2 so the next question what we are going to see is we'll catch up in the next video so that's all about uh, the 10 questions what we have added so go through all the question make a note of it and study well so we have uh, the next part of this uh, questionnaire also so please keep watching thank you so much thank you for your time take care bye bye wish you all the best and uh, please do watch all the interview series questions so that it will be really helpful for you at the time of your interview